Sí. Upo. So this is my first attempt at a vlog, so be gentle, internet. Um, I basically just wanted to, to take you along on a trip down to, um, down to Sydney with me, uh, just to test out the S1H on a job. Um, and I wanted to get out of my comfort zone, and there's nothing more uncomfortable for me than to speak in front of a camera. All right, let's see how I go. Found respect for YouTubers. This is super awkward and real cringe. So I'm really excited that I get to shoot for the first time with my new S1H. I've got the Sigma MC21 adapter and my Tamron 24 to 70. This camera is basically if a GH5 and an Evil One had a baby. Being able to have uh, two XLR inputs with the XLR adapter there is awesome. I've been playing around with it all weekend to get my um, custom settings set up on C1, custom one. I've got 5.9K 10 bit in Vlog, full HD 10 bit 100 frames per second. Um, and that will actually record audio as well. And then also 4K 10 bit 50p. I love this quick menu and I've set it up myself so I can, I've got all the, the settings that I really want so I can change um, photo styles. And also this record quality, my list is awesome. So there's like a million different record qualities, bit rates, everything. So it's awesome that I've got the five that I'll use the most in this quick menu. One other amazing thing, if, if I've just got this one lens on here, this uh, 24 to 70, and I'm, I feel like it's, it's just not long enough. I can go into this quick menu and then I've set up down the bottom here uh, my area of video. I can go from full frame to super 35 as easy as that. And I mean, I'm used to shooting in super 35 on the, um, on the EVA 1. So that's an, an amazing benefit. So you've basically got a longer le two lenses in one. Even the simple things make a huge difference like when I press record I can have a red line around the outside of the screen just to remind me that I am in record mode there's so many times everyone has I'm sure you've forgotten that you you're either recording or not recording and then also a tally light on the front for the talent now the, the only gripe that I have with the camera so far is that when I've got a monitor set up I can preview 
what's coming out in 5.9K, but as soon as I press record, the screen goes blank, which is very annoying. So I'm not trying to record externally per se, but I just want, I just want to be able to view it as I'm recording. But you know, can't have everything. Other than that, it's an amazing camera so far. The good thing about the job I've done today is it's just pieces the camera shot in natural profile and I just hand those those files off to my mate in London. So I've just got the files in Final Cut. And this is a 4K 25p 422 10-bit long got file uh, and it's running smoothly. And then if I go to Premiere with that same file also seems like it's running smoothly as well. Got a 2018 MacBook Pro uh, i7 32 gig of RAM. All right, so those files are sent by Frame.io and I'm gonna pack up and head out. I learned today. I've learned that the S1H is magic, the vlogging is super awkward and very difficult, and not to take gaffer tape in your carry on because they think you're going to tie some people up. 